Alrighty guys, welcome once again to Adam, your dog trainer. I am he, he is I, and I am here just for you. Today we are talking about some really super foods going head to head in today's mashup. I'm really looking forward to this one. But first, if this is your first time watching, please consider smashing that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to smash a little bell for notifications. This way you know when we get a new video coming uh, every week or so. I try to do three videos a week if possible. Normally it's two. So this way you'll know when they're being posted. Also, follow me on my Instagram page at Adam Your Dog Trainer, where I post pictures of my students and the fun things we're doing on a daily basis. Lastly, please, I did just start a brand new uh, Facebook page called Adam Your Dog Trainer's Community. Please go ahead, follow and like that page. This way you can get a little insight on things that are coming on the channel on a daily basis. And you can post and put recommendations like this video today was recommended by someone in my group. So let's go ahead and talk about today's video. By the way, I put the link in the description below if you guys would like to join. Today we are talking about a superfood Akena, uh, the Wild Atlantic formula, which is their really high-end fish based for, you know, good for skin and coat, um, digestion, all that stuff. So we're gonna talk about that one, put that right up there. Verse Blue Buffalo Basics Salmon Formula or Fish Formula. We're gonna put that one up there. These uh, could be pretty interesting, so I'm really looking forward to this one. So let's see what we got. I'll see you guys after the three hour time lapse and we're gonna talk a little more in detail. Deuces. Alrighty, I did want to take two seconds because uh, the FDA did just announce that there was a link between uh, dogs having heart problems with certain grain-free formulas. Now, I'm going to address this and address this once and I will do a longer video in the future with some people who are well more versed on this than simple little old me. My opinion about this is as such. I feel that the numbers you see on that paper in that study is very, very misleading. Um, it's saying that 62 dogs, that 62 dogs in the entire world died from eating with one food. Um, to me, the statistics, and I've talked to someone who actually is, uh, does that, they're an actuary, and the statistic numbers just don't add up to me. Now, until I get further review from people who are better in this industry uh, with vets and a few other economics and statistics folks, I'm not going to talk any further in regards to this matter. Um, I will always feel that a higher quality protein is better than something that is mush. Um, people make a lot of comments about some of the foods that we do talk about here. Um, I feel that that list was very misleading because the foods that we were on that list just so happened to all be superfoods that have proteins that are made in the United States, nothing imported from China, nothing imported from Japan, nothing imported from New Zealand, nothing imported from anywhere other than the United States. So it just seems rather suspicious to me that they went after those specific foods. Um, and the fact of the matter is, you know, there are probably a million golden retrievers out in the world, and you're telling me that 62 of those golden retrievers out of a million literally had a heart issue that was caused by this food. Um, I find that rather hard to believe. Also, they're claiming that the numbers that they're looking at, that it would be, if you took the entire population of the state of Florida, it would come down to only two dogs or humans that would have this heart issue. So I need to find out a little bit further and you know me, I'm always going to tell you the truth from where I come from and where I stand. So this is my opinion of this. I want to find out who did the study, who funded the study and get to some people so I can get you guys the proper information so you guys can stop um, asking yourself, should I change my dog's food? Alrighty, uh, enough about that. Let's get back to today's mashup. Hopefully, if you guys have any other questions, please hit me up on the other social media sites. Thank you very much. Deuces.
Alrighty guys, so here we go again. We have a Cana Wild Atlantic, which is their top of the line fish formula, versus Blue Buffalo Fish Basics. Alrighty, we're gonna give this the three hour time lapse as always with the pure white vinegar. See you guys in three hours. Tootsies. Alrighty guys, so you guys saw what I saw in the three hour time lapse. Well, I have them right here, and you know what? One thing I do want to take note to, I know I've been beating Blue, Blue Buffalo up for the past couple months, and this one formula did not create a lot of bubbles across the top, so you know, I'm kind of impressed. Um, let me show you, so here is the blue. It looks pretty good, it did expand a little bit, but not that bad. We did have some breakdown at the bottom, which is perfect. Um, and if we look uh, real close, there's really no bubbles on the rim there, which is phenomenal. We did not see a lot of that that we normally do tend to see. Um, so, you know, going through, you can see the finger through the back. And, uh, you know, I'm actually pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. This formula did hold up very well. Um, it just didn't do as well as what I would assume. This one, now if you look at this one, you can actually see my finger color. There really is solid breakdown here, not a lot of buildup. We don't really wanna see a lot of brown coloring. We wanna see clear, so you can take the two difference. You can see the one is darker. This one is definitely darker than this one. <laughs> um, same thing, not a lot of bubbles at the top, so really not a big ring. We did have a lot of breakdown here, so probably half the food did break down to the bottom, which is phenomenal. And you know, it's it's you know it's it's an amazing, amazing formula. It didn't expand too much. Uh, it did expand a little bit, but not as much as I would assume. So I'm gonna have to give this one to Blue or to Acania, because Blue just you know this is probably the best Blue formula that I've seen to, uh, to probably to date. You know, to be honest with you, I'm super impressed but it went up against a superfood, a powerhouse. And, you know, maybe against, I'll, maybe I'll do this one against one of the Taste of the Wild, um, and we'll see how it holds up against that one. And uh, that'd be a good mashup, I think. So leave me a comment below what you want me to do a mashup of, and, you know, any suggestions, concerns, comments, please let me know. I know I did make the comment about the FDA thing. I am gonna dive into that in the next couple weeks. As soon as I find out some more information, I don't want to just blindly say things that I just don't know. So I'd rather be honest with you guys as always and tell you my true thoughts, but I need to be educated first on it. So yeah, give me a couple weeks for that and that will come out soon. Alrighty guys, everyone have a great week. It's a happy, happy, happy Monday here in Orlando. And uh, hopefully you guys had a great July 4th weekend. Alrighty.